Well, hey everyone, how's it going? John here with another Genetry Solar video. And in this video, we are going to be talking about unlocking your Genetry Solar inverter. Before we get into that, of course, 833 Genetry, toll free Monday through Friday, 9 to 4 Eastern Daylight Time, as well as GenetrySolar.com. GenetrySolar.com is where you can find inverters such as this. 6,000 watt Genetry Solar Inverter, as well as custom build power jack inverters, Wi-Fi boards, uh, split phase conversion kits, basically everything there that you would need for your inverter. So uh, we're gonna be talking about unlocking a Genetry Solar Inverter. Now this particular inverter is a 6,000 watt Genetry Solar Inverter, and uh, you can in fact unlock it. So why would you want to unlock it? What are the pros? What are the cons? Let's go over everything and then I'm going to show you how you would actually do it on your unit. So our Genetry Solar Inverters are rated to 6,000 watts, this particular unit. We do have a 3,000 watt unit as well and soon we'll have a 12,000 watt unit, but uh, our 6,000 watt unit is rated for 6,000 watts as long as the ambient temperature does not exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So as long as the air is less than 100 degrees, then you should be able to get a consistent, continuous 6,000 watts out of the inverter before it would overheat and then shut down. So now, of course, there's always going to be factors in there as far as if there's not much airflow, things like that. A lot of things can affect it, but generally speaking, less than 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you should be able to get 6,000 watts out of this inverter continuous that's an all-day continuous load but we've built our inverters to exceed that we have them soft limited to 6,000 watts because that is our guarantee we are rating them for a minimum of 6,000 watts however if you followed any of my previous videos when I was testing these inverters I was actually able to exceed that by quite a bit um, between 20 and 30 percent I was able to exceed on a continuous load now how exactly do you do that when the inverter is only rated to 6,000 watts well ambient temperature does play a huge part in this so if you have yours in a shack out in the middle of Arizona with the Sun beating down and it's always going to be hot wherever the inverter is at you're definitely only going to get 6,000 watts. Uh, but if you have your inverter in, let's say, a basement, a climate controlled room or whatever, where the ambient temperature is, let's say, 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, you can actually exceed 6,000 watts safely on this inverter because it's better able to cool itself with a cooler ambient temperature. Now, I have demonstrated this at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I was able to get a consistent, at minimum, 8,000 watts continuous out of this inverter, and it was doing just fine. So, you do have the ability to unlock the inverter and get yourself more than 6,000 watts. If you don't and you leave it as stock, which most people are going to, you keep your warranty and you can get roughly 6,000 watts or more. I mean, we're not going to have a hard limit on there where as soon as you hit 6,000 and one watt, it's gonna completely shut down. We do have a limiter on there. So if you briefly exceed 6,000 watts, don't worry, it's not gonna turn off on you. But um, and of course, surge loads is completely different. We do have a surge rating of at least 12,000 watts on our 6,000 watt inverter. That's not going to affect it. The surge is only for a couple of seconds at most. So don't worry, you're not going to avoid any warranties by going over that because of a surge, a, a pump comes on or something else like that. So uh, if you wanted to exceed the 6,000 watt limit, then you would unlock the inverter, as I said before. Now, the downside to that obviously you avoid your warranty because we warranty these things up to 6,000 watts we're basically saying once you go over that 6,000 watts because you've unlocked it then we can no longer guarantee the performance or the safety or stable operation of the inverter so it's kind of a do it at your own risk and we will be able to see in the uh, system if you actually have unlocked it obviously so if you've unlocked it you avoided your warranty. If you break the seal on your inverter, you've avoided the warranty. So at that point, you might as well unlock it to get the most out of it. But um, we have safeties in place so that if you do unlock the inverter, then you'll still get safe operation of the unit. It's, it's not a, a reckless 
inverter now or unsafe because we still count on the temperature sensors to be able to monitor the inverter and if it exceeds 170 degrees it will automatically shut down the inverter so this is great for those who need more than 6,000 watts. Maybe occasionally you've got an appliance that comes on for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Let's say it adds up to 7,500 watts. Well, that's easy on this. It'll definitely stay cool as long as the ambient temperature is less than 100 degrees. And you don't have to worry about it shutting down because it's soft limited to 6,000 watts. So these inverters are perfect if you have a climate controlled room or the ambient temperature is normally you know fairly cool you know 70 degrees or less that would be perfect you can unlock your inverter and you can get even more out of it but the downside again is you completely void your warranty there's no returns on this there's no nothing you've completely voided your warranty and in order for you to purchase this you had to agree to those warranty terms that's on the website so there you have it pros and cons of course by unlocking it you also have the ability to change some more settings in there all that stuff i'll get into in a much more detailed video later on right now we are concerned about just how to unlock it the pros and cons so let's go ahead and get this inverter all set up and i will show you exactly what is required to unlock your inverter again at your own risk and at the loss of your warranty Okay, so we are at the main screen on a Genetry Solar 6000 watt inverter, and I'm going to show you step by step in unlocking your inverter. Of course, you will void your warranty. This is easy to get to, difficult to execute. We want to make sure that there's safeties in place so that you don't accidentally unlock your inverter and then void your warranty. So we are at the main screen now. We're going to go ahead and scroll down to the config page, enter on that. Then we're going to go down to system enter on that and all the way down at the bottom we have unlock configuration now there is a timer down here in the corner so if you accidentally get here don't panic don't think you're going to accidentally hit another button and it's going to unlock it this timer will automatically uh, bring you back to the main screen when the countdown is complete so there you have it we have several safeties in place that prevent that from happening so let's go back and you will read what is on the screen. You only have 15 seconds to do so. You'll read what's on the screen. Basically what you do is you hold up for one second exactly. That brings it to the next screen right here. And then you have to actually hit enter when this reaches three seconds. Again, it's not easy to do. It takes a little bit of work. Now you have to hit up and enter for five seconds so again we put this in here so that you can't accidentally unlock this inverter and here's another one right here it says you can now make an informed decision pressing down will void the warranty this middle button is your down let's hit it warranty voided so now you can see all the different steps that we had to go through in order to make that possible. There is no way for you to accidentally hit one button and then it's going to void your warranty. It's very, very specific. So if your warranty is voided, then obviously we know that you put in the effort to void said warranty and it's basically impossible to accidentally void the warranty. We have the safeties in place. Now what you'll notice is there's really nothing else that actually changed. In fact, the limit is going to stay the same. So when you reach 6,000 watts, it's still going to say 100%, but it will now allow you to exceed that 100%. So you can take it up to 125 or even 150 if you really want to. And uh, that's how it works. So nothing has really changed. Now, on the stat screen, you'll notice that we've got warranty void here. Now, that is a typo right there. This is actually not an 8,000 watt unit. It's a 6K. So... Uh, it'll actually say warranty void on here. So it'll be pretty easy to tell that you've voided your warranty. So let's say that you buy a Genetry Solar Inverter from third party and you're not sure if it's uh, got a voided warranty, have them take a picture of this screen here. And if it says warranty void, you know the warranty is void. You can also have them take a picture of the seal that's on the inverter. And if it's intact, then you know they haven't actually opened it up. 
to mess with it or break anything or whatever. Now you'll notice that there is no unlock configuration here and you have full access to the inverter to take it beyond its guaranteed minimum limits. Hopefully this helps in a way for those of you who want to be able to unlock your inverter and receive its full maximum potential. However, we sell and advertise these units as a 6,000 watt continuous inverter. Thanks again for all of your support. If you have any questions, let me know at the website, genitryseller.com or 833-GENITRY, toll free, Monday through Friday, nine to four Eastern. As always, Take care.